Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 30 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I'm still gonna have to get these time duels over with anyway. So, I don't know if I want to dedicate this whole video to doing that, but we'll see. Let's go with number 64, because I haven't done that yet. Hope you did not hear that, uh, Galaxy A5 activate there. Skull Invitation. Alright, 300 points for each one of card goes to the graveyard. Sylphied. When this card is destroyed and sends the graveyard as all the battle, your opponent discards one card randomly from his or her hand. That'll go in conjunction with Skull Invitation, it looks like. So I got Cannon Soldier in the graveyard. Premature Burial. Desdendal. And Vampire Orcus. So, I should summon Vampire Orcus to the field. And with its effect, I'll be able to su best special summon Desdendal to the field. So I should activate its effect as well. And equip it to Vampire Orcus. So what does it do again? Let's take a look at the effect. Okay, each time this equipped monster destroys one of your opponent's monsters, special summon one Wicket whip token on the field. Interesting. So I should activate Premature Burial to bring back Cannon Soldier. Like so. And with that, we should be able to destroy that Sylphide. This should work. I got no cards in my hand, so I got nothing to worry about. Uh, let's see. The Wicked Plant token should also be destroyed. So I should be able to do extra damage this way. There we go. I think this should be enough. Because there's three monsters. Three for, like, Cannon Soldier's effect. There. You can even sacrifice the token. Boom, we did it. <laughs> Alright, number 65. Alright, I got Mystic Tomato against a Gemini Elf. And what do I have in my deck? A Cannon Soldier. Cannon Soldier's getting used a lot. There's Pin Chopper, Arsenal Bug, Multiplication of Ants. So let me summon Pin Chopper. Offer one Insect Monster as I feel as a tribute to special summon two Army Ant Tokens. Okay, so I guess that goes with Cannon Soldier. So, I guess I would offer the Pinch Hopper, then. To a special summon to the field. Arsenal Bug. That should work. Let's see. I guess to bring in Cannon Soldier, I had to attack with Mystic, Mystic Tomato. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Hopefully I'm doing it right. I mean, I should be. His Arsenal Bug has 2,000 attack now. Thanks to those tokens. Now, it's just a matter of attacking with everyone else. Yeah, I think we'll have enough damage to uh, wipe him out with Cannon Soldier's effect. 2,000 life points left, 4 monsters. You do the math. Seriously, do it, because I'm too lazy to do it myself. 
I'm not into the methamphetamines. I'm gonna say that much right now. Alright, so... Well, I originally had plans to hang out with a couple friends of the Munch Games crew. And unfortunately, they're sick. And somehow I managed to survive that. Whoa, okay. My fatal abacus got negated. So, I guess I got no plans for the rest of the day. So, we got Ceasefire. That's also going to be negated. Mataza the Zapper. Total Defense Shogun. Back to square one. Shallow Grave. So, how am I going to make this work? Let's go with back to square one. I will discard Total Defense Shogun. And Jinzo will have to go. There, now I can use traps again. Which is good. Then I'll summon Mataza the Zapper. And... I guess I'll activate the Shallow Grave now. Uh, total defense shogun. You can go on defense mode, that's fine. Penumbral soldier lady got chosen. So let me activate ceasefire. There we go. Let's take a look at its effect. This card can attack without being shifted to attack position, which is actually pretty cool. Of course, it still applies the attack bonus rather than the defense bonus. Which is fine. That's still enough. And Fable Abacus kicks in. To these puzzles, I find that certain cards get used more than once. Mataza the Zapper being one of them. Number 67. What we got? Granadora and Cyberstein. Also, Premature Burial. Back to Square One. Monster Reincarnation. What do I have in here? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. What do I have in the graveyard? Sacred Crane. This card is special summon. The controller of this card draws one card. I have nothing in my deck anyway. I guess that's where back to square one kicks in. This Lakuda. When this card is flip summon. You draw one card from your deck. Alright. I guess I'm gonna have to uh, flip some of these. So, let me activate back to square one. I will discard Monster Reincarnation. And one monster to go back to the deck? Believe it or not, it's going to be Granadora. And then, what I should do... Is premature burial, so I can special summon Sacred Crane and then redraw Granadora. Like so. Then I guess you got a regular summon Granadora, so you can get another thousand life points. Thus, you can finally activate Cyberstein's effect. So, now I can take care of that camel. He's not going to fare as good as that camel from, like, Banjo-Kazooie slash Tooie. And then everybody can just wail on him. Oops, I pressed the L button, but it didn't hover over to the next monster. That's lame. And that should be it. Jeez, we're off to 68 already. 
I figure I might as well get a lot of them done. Even up to, like, maybe do them all before the next test? Five God Dragon and Swords of Revealing Light, so I can't attack presently. Why Dragon Head? What do I have in the graveyard? X Head Cannon. I got Thunder Dragon, Shallow Grave, Z Metal Tank, Z Metal Tank. I got XYZ Dragon Cannon. And I guess I have another Thunder Dragon in here? I got just regular Thunder Dragons. So we're not using Twin Edit Thunder Dragon at all. Let's activate Thunder Dragon's effect. This allows me to bring in an, a couple more Thunder Dragons. Now, let's see. Maybe the Shallow Grave should be activated next? And I'll select X Head Cannon. Oh, Blue Eyes White Dragon got added in defense mode. Then I should summon Z Metal Tank. This should allow me to special summon my XYZ Dragon Cannon. Even though X Head Cannon is still face down. There we go. These three get banished. And I'm able to do this. So I gotta discard from my hand now. And that's why you get those two Thunder Dragons. Because then you'll be able to do that. So, I guess, like... I have to destroy all of them. That is pretty cool that you can do that. Powerful. And I do have enough damage to uh, defeat him in one shot. There. Number 69, the magic number. What do we got this time? Jinzo, Call of the Haunted. Dark Triceratops, Rush Recklessly, Rodding Captain, Throwstone Unit. Offer one warrior type monster on your side of the field as tribute to destroy one face on monster on the field whose defense is equal to or lower than the attack of this monster. Alright, well, uh, let's go with Rodding Captain. So we can special summon the Throwstone Unit. Should use Rush Recklessly on Throw Stone Unit. Because then it gets more attack power. That way I can activate its effect. And I gotta activate Throw Stone Unit's effect. And I gotta select a warrior monster to offer. So I think we'll offer Marauding Captain because its attack power is lower. Then we can destroy Jinzo. And with that, we can probably use Call of the Haunted right now. That should allow us to bring back Dark Triceratops. There, now we can just go for the attack. That's why you had to power up Throw Stone Unit. So we're gonna have enough. Number 70! What do we got? Green Gadget, Red Gadget, Yellow Gadget. Against the Summoned Skull. We got Red Gadget, Stronghold, Cannibal Turtle, Dark Hole, and Cathedral of Nobles. So I think Cathedral of Nobles should be activated first. Again, in the anime, I think it was called Temple of the Kings. Probably because Cathedral would have like some kind of reference to like religiousness. Maybe that's why they had to edit it. 
So thanks to Cathedral of Nobles, we can activate this trap on the same turn we set it. There. Now we got that on the go. So we just got to uh, summon Catapult Turtle next, I believe. We're not going to be using that Stronghold for anything. Might as well, uh, just sacrifice all the monsters now. No, why do I go into battle phase? No, get out of the battle phase. You just need to sacrifice these. Make sure Catapult Turtle is last. I'm guessing you wouldn't be able to, like, sacrifice the other monsters to bring in, like, Catapult Turtle. Number 71. Okay, we got Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Guardian Angel Joan, we call the Haunted, and Premature Burial. I bring in Destruction, I got Moki Moki, Sangin, Special Hurricane, and Blackluster Soldier, Soldier Envoy the Beginning. So let's activate Special Hurricane. And out of all these, I'm going to discard Sangin. So I can have a Dark Monster in the graveyard. There. What does Special Hurricane do again? Because it got rid of all these. Destroy all Special Summon Monsters on the field. Okay, I got it now. Now summon Moki Moki to the field. And I'll like to be bringing destruction on it. So this will further facilitate my ability to bring in Black Luster Soldier Envoy the Beginning. Because I have a light and a dark monster in my graveyard now. Perfect. Now we just go on the attack. Alright, Magician of Faith. That'll come in handy for the next test, because it spells. And gains a giant orc. I have Monster Reincarnation and Summon Skull. I have four things in my graveyard. Hayabusa Knight, Premature Burial, Axe of Despair, Mataza the Zapper. Alright, let me bring in Magician of Faith. I should choose out of all these acts of despair. And, uh, let's see. How about monster reincarnation? I will discard summon skull to bring in Mataza the Zapper. Summon Mataza. And equip it with Axe of Despair. So it has enough damage to beat Giant Orc. There, now I'll just attack it again. Faith, get the finishing blow, and we're done. Alright, number 73. Alright, Des Koala and Gora Turtle. As long as this card remains face up on the field, monsters when attacking equal to 1900 or more cannot attack. So that's Sukuyomi, Summon Skull, Premature Burial. Well, I see that card a lot too. Sasuke Samurai number three, and the Bistro Butcher. What does he have in his graveyard then? Oh, five things. Two Force Raiders and three Mechanical Chasers. He's got 21 cards in his deck, so I huh, can't do much with that. So, let me use Sukiyomi's effect 
on this koala so I can set it. And I'll use premature burial. And who should I bring back? I think I should bring in Sasuke Samurai number three, because it'll allow him to draw until he has seven cards. So I can use Des Koala's effect along with it. So, what I should do is uh, attack the Gora Turtle with Sukiyomi. Because then they'll Kamikaze, which is fine. That allows the Samurai to actually hit my opponent. So by having seven cards, I can flip summon this koala and do a lot of damage, like all of it. Now for number 74. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna be working with Ojama cards. Okay, Gyakagiri Panda, Catapult Turtle, against a Kangaroo Champ. So I got Ojama Trio, Token Festival, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Statue of the Wicked. This card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard when face down you a special summon one wicked token. Oh, looks like I'll be using tokens a lot. So let's activate the Ojama Trio. And once they're summoned, I should activate Token Festival. Like so. <laughs> nice. Then I'll set Statue of the Wicked. And then activate Mystical Space Typhoon on it. So I can use its effect. So I think I should just bring it to attack mode, it doesn't really matter. Flip some catapult turtle. So let me use Gakagiri Panda to destroy the kangaroo champ. let the rest take over. And I think you pretty much know what's gonna happen now. Oh yeah, you have a good idea now. Da -da -da. And it should be over. Alright, 75. Huh, <laughs> it makes an L. Is it saying I'm a loser? Come on. Alright, Messenger of Peace. Granadora. Shining Angel, Shining Angel, Granadora. I have Exit Cannon, White Dragon Head, Z Metal Tank, Pot of Generosity, and Monster Gate. Let's start by summoning X Head Cannon. <laughs> And I'll activate Pot of Generosity. Two cards in hand to enter the deck. I guess it should be Y Dragon Head and Z Metal Tank. So I think that's where Shining Angel's effect will come in. By letting them get destroyed against this Grand Adora, I'll be able to special summon the other two. So I think that's what I need to do. Do that. So let's go with a white dragon head. I guess it doesn't really matter what order. But I'll just do it for the principle. And with 
that, I can bring in Z-Metal Tank. And next... Well, I can't battle anymore. So I'll just special summon uh, XYZ Dragon Cannon. God, I'm bundled up here. So I can discard monster gigs, I'm not using it. And destroy Granadora to inflict 2,000 automatically. Boom. Man, I still got like 25 more to go. Let's go to number 76. Alright, so we got Spirit Barrier. This card cannot be destroyed during battle. This card is put phase up in attack position. Sacrificing one monster on your field that is level 5 or below will inflict damage your opponent's life points equal to the monster's there. White Ninja. Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. I got Bazoo the Soul Eater, Big March of Animals, and Big Koala. So I think I should just flip some of the White Ninja right now. I gotta select a monster to destroy. Rid of that, obviously. So let me use Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. Activating this card by offering one face up monster in the side of the field includes Ninja in its name. It's a tribute. Special summon one beast type, wing beast type, or insect type monster with a level equal to or less than the level of selected monster plus three from your hand or deck. Oh my god, that's so wordy. This has a ninja on it. So that allows me to special summon my big koala. There we go. Now I'll just normal summon Bazoo the Soul Eater. So what should I do next? I activate its effect. So I can probably just get rid of White Ninja then, because that's the only thing I have in the graveyard. And next I'll activate the Big March of Animals. What did that do again? Did it just increase their attack power? Okay, by 200 points for each Beast-type monster on your side of the field. So I guess that's up to 400 each now. Yep, that does enough. I'll probably keep going until I have like, I don't know, all the way up to level four cleared. And then I'll probably do the test. Not in the same episode, obviously, but eh. Number 77. Oh, okay, that's a good start. So let me activate Mystical Space Typhoon right now, get rid of that. Spell or trap to destroy, obviously this one. There, don't have to worry about it anymore. Let me activate Shield Crash. Of all these, uh, Soul Tiger, I guess? Then I'll activate Premature Burial. Rare Metal Dragon? Interesting. This card cannot be Normal Summon. Well, good thing I didn't Normal Summon it. I'll summon Drillroid. What does this Drillroid do? Okay, it just destroys the defense position monster. 
That allows Rare Metal Dragon to, uh, do its dirty work. Rare Metals are dirty, right? <laughs> Number 78. Okay, so we got Egghead Cannon, Mystic Tomato, Cannibal Turtle, against a Luster Dragon, that's the one with six stars, and Coffin Cellar. What do I have in here, then? X Exed Tank Cannon. Okay, discard one card from your hand to destroy one phase-down spell card or trap card on your opponent's side of the field. Oh, alright. Let's face up, so not much I can do. Z Metal Tank and Sangin. Okay, I think we should just go straight to the battle phase. And let Mystic Tomato attack. And obviously it's gonna bring in Sangin. Don't think I should attack again, obviously. Because that'll bring me too much hurt. Alright, let me activate Catapult Turtle's effect on Sangin. So it gets to use its effect, too. There, so that's all I need to do to summon Z Metal Tank. Now I can special summon. Wait, I did select Z Metal Tank. Oh, I guess I have to press A twice for some reason. Go to Swore, that's what I did. Hmm. So I guess I just got. Sacrifice the XZ. Uh... Why do I say like XZ and then I go like Z Metal Tank? So I'm using two different kinds of Z slash Z. What is wrong with me? A little bit of tomato, a little bit of tomato. Huh. 79. Why do these cards always make an L? Got called haunted. Shinado, King of a Higher Plane, Guardian Angel Joan, and Wing Weaver. So three light monsters to deal with. There's Honey Honey, got Mystical Space Typhoon, Premature Burial, Th Thestalos, the Firestorm Monarch. Okay, and Ancient Gear Golem. So let me use Premature Burial and decide what's in my graveyard. I got Jinzo and Blue Eyes White Dragon. I should probably choose Blue Eyes. Now, let's see. Probably Hani Hani next. And I think I'll choose Guardian Angel Jones as more attack points than Wing Weaver. Next, Mystical Space Typhoon. So I can destroy Call the Haunted. And next, what I should do is summon, summon Thestalos, the Firestorm Monarch. Hani Hani can go. And it does that. Plain and simple. Blue Eyes can take care of Wing Weaver, and well, you can pretty much fill in the blanks. Nice. Alright, number 80, and that's gonna be the last time duel I do in this episode. Alright, Magician of Faith. Da 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 da. Sukiyomi, Man Eater Bug, Lightning Vortex, Book of Tayo. Wait, I didn't even look at these. Stone Ogre Grotto, I guess. Okay, they're the, they're all the same. 
Fatal Abacus as well. Okay, so I should just summon Sugiyomi. So I can set Magician of Faith. And then flip summon it again. And then take the spell card that's there. Swords are revealing light. Then I should activate Swords are revealing light. I'm seeing it since I got Lightning Vortex. What I need to do is use Swords so I can flip it up. Then I can use Lightning Vortex. Well, it doesn't really matter what you discard, actually. It's not like I can just summon Man Eater Bug. Okay, each time one monster is sent from the field to the graveyard. I thought it had something to do with the hand as well, but I guess not. I guess in retrospect, if you had another turn, you obviously would prefer to keep Man Eater Bug. Maybe that's the logic here. There, we did like 80 of these! Screw it, we'll, we'll just do one more, because I want to see what level 5 is all about. These are obviously going to be the hardest. <laughs> they give you 22 minutes to think about it. Spell Canceler, Jinzo, we got Needle Worm, Penguin Soldier, Different Dimension Dynamite, Banisher of the Light, Card Destruction, and Soul Release. Hang on. Like 300 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each of your opponent's opponent's cards that have been banished. So that's where Banisher of the Light's gonna come in. Let me set this. So I'm probably gonna use it later. Flip Summon Needle Worm. The next five draws are gonna be banished anyway. I guess it's just. Force Raider and Mechanical Chaser. Nope, Shadow Spectre and Blackland Fire Dragon for some strange reason. That would have been a bad draw. Like, just to get those. That's ridiculous. Now I'll flip summon Penguin Soldier. And I'll just get rid of these two. Bada bing, bada boom. So I gotta use card destruction next. There. Now you can activate soul release. And then you can select up to five. Select them all. Obviously the more you have banished, the better. That's a lot of damage. Then you just finish the jab. Boom. We did like... We have 81 of these done. A far cry from where I was maybe 3 or 4 episodes ago. When I was probably less than 50. Cray cray. Alright, I'm gonna stop here, and in the next part, we'll get ready for the test. Goodbye, everyone.